69% of checkouts are abandoned, it means that every single day you are losing thousands or even dozens of thousands of dollars in sales. The best and easiest way to recover those cards is to use abandoned card and checkout flows. In this video I'll show you the exact structure that we use to create high converting abandoned card and checkout flows that recover a ton of abandonments every single week. Now, if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Wysocki and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Ok, so let's start with the difference between abandoned cart and abandoned checkout flow. A lot of people in the e-commerce space and when they mean Clavio specifically, when they say abandoned cart flow, what they really mean is abandoned checkout flow, because if you go into Clavio and type in abandoned cart flow, uh, the first flow that will show up is abandoned checkout flow, which is something that you definitely want to have but there's also another flow that you might just must set up which is abandoned cart flow. I have a detailed video that shows you how to install added to cart snippet so you can watch it, I will link it in the video description. But the thing is that if you are running your store on Shopify and you're using Clavio, you will need to install custom snippet code in order to have the added to cart event. And as you can see it's absolutely crucial to have it because in this case for one of our clients from the only those two emails we would recover 38k in sales but while we set up the other flow we recovered 39k in sales extra which means that you know by having only abandoned checkout flow we would recover only 50 percent of total sales so by having these two flows set up you're recovering twice as much sales as you would recover normally now let's go into the actual structure that we use to create high converting abandoned cart and checkout flows. Ok, so this, this exact structure that we use to create high converting flows for our clients and no worries, I will link it in the video description so you can download the, you know, the template, the, uh, the mind map anytime you want, it will be in PNG file extension so you will be able to use it whenever you want to. Let's start with trigger, uh, so this is one of the most important things and the trigger should be based on your AOV. So if your AOV is smaller than 100 bucks, your uh, abandoned checkout flow and card flow should be triggered 30 minutes after the abandonment. Right, if your AOV is between 100 and 200 bucks, it should trigger one hour after abandoned checkout or card. And then, if your AOV is higher than 200 bucks, it should trigger two hours after the checkout is abandoned. And the reason behind that is that, uh, like, smaller AOV means people are making more impulsive purchases and don't, they don't overthink it. In case of higher AOV, they need more time, right? For the other client that I showed you these screenshots before, uh, we were having given like four hour, uh, you know, delay, and the reason is that their AOV was like four to five hundred bucks, but still it converted very, very well. And with the, you know, uh, having like smaller AOV, when people abandon the checkout, they just make a distractor or whatever. But mostly when the AOV is higher, they just need more time to think about it, uh, get themselves familiar with the product, with their decision. So this is the reason behind the trigger. Now the content within this email is to actually remind them about the card and checkout. So you don't want to give any discount counts at this stage whatsoever, you just want to remind them about the card, be like, hey, you know, you left those items, uh, you can add some urgency, like, you know, other uh, people are also browsing them, shopping them, so make sure you get them before it's too late, something like that, but you don't have to do it, usually just reminding about the card and checkout itself is enough, because people just, you know, get distracted and, and forget, so this is uh, what you should do. Uh, email number two is being sent one day after email number one and this is regardless of this first trigger so even if your AOV is huge you still want to say it one day after email one because this is also one day after the abandonment which is ideal because you know people all had one day to think about the, the product, their decision etc. And the content itself is that you want to give people an incentive. So you can give like move, move an incentive to email number three but what we like to do is just to give incentive in email number two but also talk about the, your USP right so what makes your brand different what are your unique selling propositions why people should buy from you not from the competitors right so like just talk about all this stuff uh, to make sure you stand out and you convince people why your, your solution is the best out there on the market. Now email number 3 is being sent one day after email 2, we just want to have the whole uh, you know, car card and checkout recovery quite quick, uh, you don't want to spread it out across like 2 or 3 weeks as you would do within the welcome series. This is something that people may need time but you still want to recover th those cards relatively quickly, so this is why every single email has a delay of one day after the previous one. Uh, so 
You can also play with timing delay, uh, as I said, but usually this is what works best for us. And in email number three, we are showing social proof, like reviews, testimonials, success stories. And I've got to tell you, like success stories are an absolute killer because people often have common problems, right? So like they were struggling with weight loss and you, you include a story, which was like, you know, I lost 20 pounds or like whatever, five kilograms in time period, let's say uh, one month, third, two, two months, three weeks whatever it may be people associate themselves with that and they're like okay if you know john has lost so much weight in such a short period of time i can do it as well with this product probably so this is why social proof works so well and also with the reviews people just want to see if your actual you know company that runs and has a lot of happy customers or if you're scamming people and just you know like being uh, some random company that like sells products that don't work at all whatsoever people have trust issues which is quite normal uh, and when it comes to reviews my tip is just to show the amount of happy customers so in the actual email we just love to include a few testimonials not too many to not make it too long uh, usually it's anywhere between like two to four or sometimes even five testimonials if they're very short but you also want to show how many customers you have so you could include between two to five testimonials and then say okay we have over five thousand five star reviews from our customers uh, and also creates really really high social proof one small tip for you is to include the amount of happy customers or five star reviews under the call to action because people will read it anyway and it just boosts the click through rate overall Let's go now to email number four. So this is the last email and the goal of the email is to create urgency and be like the last reminder about the card as well as the incentive. So usually in the email number three, uh, we don't mention the discount because we, we've given it right here. And if people wanted to buy with a discount and pricing was their main objection, they would do it right here. But then, okay, like the pricing is not the objection. They remember about the card because we reminded them we're showing social proof, which is another objection. So then the last email just to reminding about the you know about the card and about the incentive creating some sort of urgency again you can add urgency for the product which means that you know our SKU is running low either you get it now or you may not, never get it but I don't like to create like fake urgency but what you can do is create a real urgency with the code the expiring and you can set down the codes within Clavia that are uh, live for a certain period from the recipient getting the actual code so this is what we like to do 24 hours is usually the ideal sweet spot you don't want to give people like i don't know 30 48 hours or 72 because it may be just too long 24 hours is enough if they want to you know go for previous emails or go through your product page or landing page they still have time to do it and claim the code and that's usually what works for us the best the one thing you have to remember when creating a bundle card and checkout flow is you are solving people's objections so uh, pricing is one of the most common ones that's why we give the incentive so early but then one of the most common ones is that okay this won't work for me or does it actually work or do i need it that's why we include the, we include the social proof and then the urgency is for people who are uh, like struggling to make a decision they're not really decisive most people don't like making decisions but like okay i'll have time i'll think about it you know the discount code will be there forever no it won't be by now or it will expire and you will have to pay more uh, that's why it works for us so well uh, also, what I like to do is if you have free shipping or, or that you offer, it's always great to re, uh, you know include it in this uh, email, in the first email. You can also do a split with Clavio. So if you have free shipping for orders over 100 bucks, you can create a conditional split that, for example, if someone uh, has a checkout that is worth more than 100 bucks, you can include the info about free shipping and it's going to increase your conversion rate significantly. So yeah, this is the exact structure we use. And again, it will be linked in the video description. So you'll be able to look at it anytime you want. And feel free to use it and seal it as you will because it converts really, really well. One thing you have to remember is that when you're setting up those flows, this is just the beginning. You have to be constantly A-B testing stuff and optimizing the flows to make sure you're converting as much people as possible. Usually it takes at least three months to optimize them. But if you are not familiar with Clavio and email marketing in general, it will take you way, way longer. But if you want to save yourself a headache and save a ton of time like months or even years you can book a free call with me well it will be with me personally and i'll walk you through how can i help you get results quickly abandoned card and checkout flows are two out of the four core flows next to the welcome series and post post purchase which are the key flows that are absolutely critical for your e-commerce brand now that you know how to create them implement what you learned and start recovering those sales thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe and see you next time bye